guys, welcome back to my channel, Apples and Tiaras. So today I wanted to do a video that has been requested a couple of times in my comments and is on my list of summer projects. And that is my class dojo video. I am gonna have some visitors throughout the video and hopefully they're not too distracting. Um, but I wanted to give you guys a little bit of insight about my experience with class dojo, how I use it, how I'm switching it up this year, and just a little bit more information about Class Dojo for those of you that don't know a lot about it. Also, I apologize in advance for the ring um, thing on my glasses. My ring light is here because the lighting in this room is really bad. That's a little bit better. Okay, so the very first thing that I wanted to mention about Class Dojo is uh, why I use it and the reason I use it is because I love how it gives you um, an immediate way of communicating with parents. I'm a person that will forget to make phone calls, that will forget to do emails and using Class Dojo as a form of communication between parent and teacher is amazing. I can text a parent directly when a problem has occurred and they will get that note automatically. A parent can text me or message me on Dojo and ask a question about homework or ask a question about procedures or rules or anything of that nature and I can respond right away. So it gives immediate communication between parents and teachers. I also love how it gives immediate feedback. Okay, you guys can't be grooming each other during the whole video, okay? You can join mommy but you have to sit still. It gives students immediate feedback on their behavior, whether it's positive or negative, and it also reports this behavior to parents immediately, if they're signed up. The only thing that sucks about Class Dojo is that if the parents are not signed up, obviously they're not going to be getting that communication, they're not going to see the behaviors, and they're not going to get the messages that you send to them. So if you have a parent that isn't on Class Dojo, be sure to get their email address and their phone number to make sure that you can communicate everything you've communicated on Dojo with them personally through email or a phone number. So I'm just going to show you guys a little bit of how I use Class Dojo. I have it pulled up here on my computer and I know it's hard to see but I basically give each student a monster at the beginning of the year and normally it's just the generic one that Class Dojo gives you and throughout the year I will allow the students to change their Dojo monsters and there is a way that you can change the monsters into any photo that you would like. If you are interested in that, please let me know down in the comments below. That way I can give you the directions for that. Um, and if I need to make a separate video about that, I will definitely do so. I like to put the kids in here by first name alphabetically. It's just easier for me to find their names that way and it makes it a little less hectic when a kiddo is trying to go give themselves a point and they have to go searching for their name. So if they're in alphabetical order by their first name, it's going to be a lot easier for them to find their name. Class Dojo has a really awesome feature where you can do small groups and do group points. If you're a person that has table groups and you like to give group points during the day, instead of doing it on the board or having a separate space in the room for it, you can do it directly on Dojo and it makes it a lot easier. So what I do with Class Dojo is I give and take points away from students or give them to students as they're behaving in the classroom. What I will most likely do is ask that student to either give themselves a point or take a point for something specific that they did. If a student is doing something well, I'll say, oh my gosh, good job, let's just say, good job, Abby, will you go give yourself a point for being a good helper? Um, they get the chance to get up out of their seat, go over to the computer and give themselves that point instead of me giving it to them. Now I do give my students a lot of points personally, but I love letting them do it. It gives them a chance to get up out of their seat and be recognized for that wonderful behavior because they have to get up walk across the room, the whole class gets to see them in their glory and they get to give themselves that point. Now it also does the same thing when you take a point from a student. If I have a kiddo that's talking during class, I can say, okay, you and you, please go take a point for talking out of turn. They'll get up, they'll go over, take their point away. So they kind of have that walk of shame going over there, getting rid of their point. So it kind of does the same thing, uh, just in positive and negative aspects. I love Class Dojo because I can put it on my phone 
and I can carry it around with me throughout the day. I used to have a class iPad that had internet on it. My current class iPad does not have Wi-Fi, so I can't use it, but I do like to use it on my phone. That way I can have it with me at all times. When we're walking in the hallway, I can give a point. When we're at the bathrooms, I can take a point. When, we're, when I'm at the back table and nowhere near the computer and I wanna take a point, um, I can do that with my phone. So I love having that feature. All right, so let's get into the juicy part of this video. How on earth am I gonna connect Class Dojo to a clip chart? I'm really, really excited about this because I think it's going to be a really great way to inspire the kiddos to want their dojo points and do a better job of making immediate feedback because I felt that in the past, sometimes it was hard for me to keep track of points or remind kids to give them, things like that. So I wanna give my students just another way to earn points rather than just picking on just the kid that's doing amazing or just the kid that's doing a terrible job. Um, so I, that sounds awful, a terrible job. So I am going to incorporate a clip chart with this and I just actually printed and laminated this today. I haven't made it yet. I mean, it's here, but I haven't put it together. But the clip chart is just a normal clip chart. This one was on TPT. I forget the store. I will link it down below, but it just has the top one is like a role model. Then we have a leader student look at you, it's a good day, reflect about it, stop and think, and parent contact. Now, the way I plan to use this together is I, I plan to use the clip chart as a weekly incentive. So wherever the kiddos land at the end of the week will be how many points they're allowed to give themselves. Now, the points that I'm planning on having are they're going to be only for the positives. So if a student stays on green for the entire week, so by the time Friday comes, if they're still on green, they will collect five extra points. That's amazing. That means you did a great job all week. I didn't have to say much to you. You had a generally good week and you're getting rewarded with five extra points in your dojo. If they receive, if they're landed on blue at the end of the week, they will get six points. If they're on pink, seven, and if they're on purple, eight extra points. If they land on any of these three colors, they will not get any extra dojo points. Now the way I motivate my students with dojo points is, number one, their parents can see how many points they're earning throughout the week. But not only that, I do a dojo store every Friday, and sometimes it can get really annoying and I don't wanna do it and I run out of time, but I always seem to find a way. I also like doing it on Fridays because my mom and nephew both come into class and they can do the dojo store for me. Last year I also had a student who was able to do dojo store for me as well. Now I do dojo store on Fridays, which means on Monday I reset the points. I like to do this because it gives each week a fresh start, it gives each student a fresh week, and it makes it easier for me to keep track of points. So what usually happens is on Friday, it takes about an hour to get through all of my students, but I usually do it during intervention times because I usually have that for about an hour. It's ketchup and pickles, so all of the students are normally sitting down quietly working on unfinished work or doing their centers for the week. And I'll call up two to three students at once, I'll show them how many points they have, and then I will ask them to choose a prize for their point. Then I give them a ticket, which I'll show you guys what those are. Give them a ticket, which is basically a receipt. It says their name, the amount of points they spent, and the prize they bought. They're only allowed to buy one prize per week, so they have to save their points if they want the good prizes. All of the prizes that I include in my dojo store are 100% free, and they are simply incentives in the classroom. For example, one point might be a souvenir pencil or to use a reading buddy for the day. I have a bin of stuffed animals and the student can earn using the reading buddy for the day, which means they can take this stuffed animal with them when they go to read independently. Three points, free homework pass, which would be a night off from math homework. Uh, choose a go noodle, free draw time. That is limited to about 20 minutes or if they're finished with all of their work. 
Also, agenda duty, which is where they can go and stamp agendas. I don't think I'm gonna do agendas next year, so this one might be going away. And then wear the cape for the day. I do have a superhero cape in my classroom that I allow my students to wear for the day if they earn three points and they would like to purchase that. So as you can see, these points go up. They go up from one, three, five, seven, 10, 15, and 20. Um, and some of the other prizes are, could be a piece of candy, choosing their partner for the day, choosing a class job for the day, um, choosing a prize from the prize box, which is always just like dollar store fines, um, things like that. Sit at the teacher's desk, change your dojo monster, get a positive note home, a handwritten positive note home, show and tell, 10 minutes of iPad time, help in another classroom, be the DJ for the day. This one is huge. They love being able to pick the music. And then the top points are to have coffee with Mrs. Valdez in the morning, which I bring them hot chocolate from Starbucks, and then or lunch with Mrs. Valdez and they get to invite one friend. So I will join them for lunch in the cafeteria and then they can come in and enjoy their recess time in the classroom with me. We watch TV shows, we play games, we do all kinds of stuff. So I like having the dojo store because I know that it's an ex extrinsic motivator, but all of these things that I'm giving them are within the classroom. It's not like, oh, I'm gonna give you this piece of candy or I'm gonna give you this prize. It's things that they are able to do within the classroom that don't cost me any money and don't cause me any stress. I like to use Class Dojo to keep track of individual student behavior. Because I do flexible seating, I do not utilize the group feature, but if I didn't do flexible seating, I definitely would, and I have in the past. I also keep track of the class points throughout the week, and I set my students a goal, and sometimes if they pass that goal, we'll do a class prize at the end of the week, whether it's 30 minutes to 20 minutes of free time, or extra computer time, or extra recess on a Friday. Just fun incentives to keep the class wanting to earn more points. All right guys, so thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful and I hope that you all try Class Dojo and enjoy it. I am a Class Dojo mentor, so if any of you have any other questions on how to use any of the features on Class Dojo, please do not hesitate to comment down below and I will help you out. Whether it's in another video or through a comment, I really, really hope that I can help you guys out using Class Dojo. All right guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Yeah.